Hello, I'm Jenny Quinn, professor of mathematics at the University of Washington, Tacoma, wife to Mark Martin for more than 20 years, and Lux Artist in Residence from AMSCU 2018. Since I can't be with you this year, I made a Lux Art tutorial that I hope you find useful. Remember that any form of art takes practice, and Lux Art is no exception. My early Lux Art attempts were simple line drawings, but with experimentation and practice, I figured out how to create better images built from light, much as sketching with a pencil builds images from shadows. The first step to making your own Lux Art is preparing the image. Either trace out a Petri dish on a piece of paper and prepare your design to scale first, or have your design on a tablet. I use an iPad and I like to draw portraits. Start by cropping and scaling the image to be the right size. You see here a mandolin gun, formerly a biologist at Grays Harbor College, now working at the Fred Hutchinson Cancer Institute. You can use the photo manipulation capabilities of your tablets to help you see the regions of light. To do this, transform the image to grayscale and adjust brilliance, exposure, highlights, brightness, or contrast. The highlights and brightest elements get well painted with bacterial culture. The shadows and darkest elements should be untouched. The grays in between are where you get to make artistic decisions. Once you're satisfied with your preparation, put the Petri plate on top of your design and begin. Painting an agar plate with a culture of Photobacterium lignothi is rather like painting with water. You can see the slick patches on the surfaces where you have applied the culture, but there's a bit of guesswork involved. The details aren't revealed until the culture has had the opportunity to grow. I like to use a very thin brush and start with the important highlights and details. I fill in the brightest regions first, remembering even when an area is to be entirely filled, the nature and direction of my strokes often comes through in the final product. The gray regions in between can be realized using different brush strokes, stippling patterns, or cross hatching. And remember, it's okay to paint an area more than once. At some point, you may want to check on your progress. As long as you have no standing liquid on your Petri dish, you can hold it up to the light. Where you've painted culture will appear cloudy. It's easier to see than this video would lead you to believe. Alternately, especially if your painting is particularly wet, you can use an external light source to get the same effect without tipping your plate over. Finally, using that external light source, you can focus a projection of your image on the flat surface below. When you're ready to return to painting, it is important to align your drawing with the original image, which is what you see happening here. This is what can be seen immediately upon completion of painting. And this is what it looks like after, after growing overnight. And finally, in the dark. I hope this gives you some ideas and inspiration on how to create the Luxart within your imaginations. Uh, so enjoy, have a great time, and let there be light.